Our last speaker for the evening, I know the evening's drawing to a close. Our last speaker is a dancer and choreographer with Ann Arbor's own Tickle Fancy Burlesque Collective. Please welcome Evelyn Hollingshead. So every performance is an exchange of power between the audience and the performer. So right now, I hold power because you are all listening to me, but you hold power because if you were not here to listen to me, I would not be here. And the slides hold power because they are not going yet. <laughs> so this is a generally unspoken and unexamined exchange, but it is what drives me in my performance as a burlesque dancer. Can I get a shot where you hold your hands up? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this exchange of power is generally unspoken, but it is what drives me in my performance as a burlesque dancer with the Tickled Fancy Burlesque Collective. So I don't work in strip clubs, uh, rather I dance, choreograph, create costumes, and manage the finances and web presence of the Tickled Fancy. However, at the end of the day, I would not be doing all of that if I didn't also strip. I chose an art form based in sexuality and the physical body after spending 17 years in the world of classical ballet, for which I'm six inches too short and 20 pounds too heavy. In addition to not having the right body for ballet, I am gay. There's no space in the traditional dance world for female queerness because such queerness challenges the structure of heterosexuality upon which ballet was built. There's no space in the feminist queer world for classically trained dancers because ballet is equated with oppression and the destruction of young women. So finding a dance world in which I felt comfortable seemed like an impossibility until I discovered the Tickled Fancy Burlesque Collective by attending a show four years ago. Tickled Fancy was a vaudevillian heavy troupe with a reputation for pushing the limits of traditional burlesque. So rather than just taking off their clothes to music from the 1920s, the members of Tickled Fancy built shows around themes and acts around stories. They had dancers who covered themselves in blue liquid latex, a woman who swallowed swords, and a woman who stripped out of hula hoop waist clown pants. So I took four months to summon my courage, and then I joined as a dancer and choreographer. And through Tickle Fancy, I found a way to integrate my varied selves. So many of the troupe members were queer, and they were impressed with, not appalled by, my ballet training. So burlesque gave me an outlet in which I could personalize, you know, take my personal experience of ballet and radicalize it and integrate my sexuality and my artistry. Burlesque is an outlet in which I use every part of my personality and performance history. So it's my own soul that's on display while I dance, but it's my burlesque alter ego, Ruby Lawless, who captivates and connects with the audience. So Ruby is completely fearless. She's beautiful and tough as nails, and it has been a huge confidence boost to me to recognize that I have all of her qualities in me. So as Ruby, I am captivating enough to remain completely in control of the power dynamic between the audience and the performer. And rather than fearing a stranger's gaze, I demand that they look. So this has been extremely empowering to me because it has turned me from someone who is fearful of a stranger's interactions with my body to someone who finds power in my body. Now, the dancers in our troupe benefit greatly from performing with Tickled Fancy, but they're not the only ones. Um, our audience members leave our shows with an enhanced sense of empowerment and well-being. We genuinely believe that all bodies are sexy, powerful, and beautiful, and the sentiment is obvious in our shows. And I've lost track of the number of people who have told me, sometimes crying, that our shows make them feel better about their own bodies. The Tickled Fancy Burlesque Collective is part of a thriving underground art scene in Ann Arbor that makes young people want to stay here. And Ann Arbor is a great place to be a burlesque dancer. Uh, because there's not as much competition here, as opposed to a larger city such as New York, as performers, we are able to experiment more. 
So, for example, uh, we have a Halloween show happening tomorrow night at the Blind Pig, and I'll be performing in, among others, a love act between Lord Voldemort and Bellatrix Lestrange. <laughs> so, uh, you know, no one in our troupe is simply trying to look good in a giant martini glass. So, I just, my life has changed so much from dancing with the Tickled Fancy Burlesque Collective. Um, I have become so much more empowered and happy through it, and I've encountered just an incredible amount of kindness, fierceness, beauty, and creativity, and all of these things have made me a better friend, a better partner, a better coworker, uh, and a much better community member. So when I was a ballet dancer, and that was all I was doing, when I looked in the mirror, I hated what I saw. And when I look in the mirror now, after having danced with Tickled Fancy for almost four years now, um, I no longer see myself as fat or anything close to that. I see myself as powerful and brave. So in other words, I really see what was there all along. So thank you.